Guys, many people say that the first love which you encounter in your life will be highly memorable. But for me, the first hackathon which I attended recently came out to be a wonderful experience altogether. You understand? Yes. No, you don't understand. Yes, guys. And guess what? We emerged as the winners of this particular hackathon, and that is the reason why I just couldn't wait to share my experience in this hackathon with you guys. Later on in this video, I'll be uh, sharing each and everything with you, like how was the hackathon, what did I do, and how we emerged as the winners, and what things you can inculcate in your uh, first hackathon, especially for people who haven't attended any of the hackathons till now, like me. So even you guys can get a lot of takeaways from this video in order to. Uh, just get that mindset to enter your first hackathon and even uh, try to give your level best in it. So uh, make sure that you watch this video till the end. Before we talk more about the hackathon, as the GATE 2024 exam is scheduled to start from 3rd February, I'm sure many of you will be uh, looking forward to analyze and revise your preparation level right now. And for that, I would strongly recommend GATE Wala's GATE 2024 test series. Cause you'll get access to PYQs from 2018, GATE 2018 to GATE 2023, which will not only help you boost your preparation, but will also uh, help you to get familiarized with the ongoing trends in terms of your GATE examination, guys. And with the special offer which is going on at PW, you will be getting access to these test series starting at just rupees 299, guys. And the great thing is that the special offer is not only applicable for the test series but also on all its batches for GATE 2024, 2025 and 2026. Parakram GATE 2025 for Computer Science and Data Science and Artificial Intelligence will be uh, available for you at just Rs. 9,999 and Parakram ESC plus GATE plus PSUs 2025 all branches will be available at just Rs. 13,999 guys. Next talking about Shrest gate 2026 plus PSUs plus placement preparation batch so this is coming at just rupees 17,999 in this special offer and not only that you will also be getting Shrest ESC plus gate plus PSUs 2026 batch B at just rupees 17,999 and also Parakram gate 2025 batch B at just rupees 6,600 all these batches include live lectures from the best faculties of India and they also include topic wise practice sheets which will help in rigorous practice even daily practice problems will be available to ensure that you, uh, you are consistent in your preparation. And not only that, you'll also be getting access to the live doubt solving engine which is present and the PW app through which you can solve all your doubts. Along with this, you'll also be able to uh, solve a lot of PYQs for which video solutions will also be uploaded guys. The links for all these batches has been given in the description below. So please check it out and under this offer. PW is providing GATE Khazana with 2025 and 2026 batches at just Rs. 3,999. In this GATE Khazana, you will get access to recorded lectures by India's best faculties and uh, the DPP and TPP solutions will also be provided in both languages. Not only that, PW GATE Wala has also introduced topic-wise previous year question book set in which there will be two books, one technical and non-technical and here you will get access to previous year questions from GATE 2008 to 2023. Past 16 years PYQs are present in these books. The QR codes which are embedded with each and every question is the standout feature for me because through that you will be getting the live uh, video solution of that particular question. So that will help you a lot while you are preparing for your GATE examination. So the link for uh, purchasing these books has also been given in the description. So please check it out guys. And the best thing is that you can get additional rupees 500 off on all these batches by just using my code DAR500 which I am displaying over the screen right now. So what are you waiting for? Enroll to your favorite batch and take your gate preparation to the next level with Physics Wala. The hackathon which I was talking about was Invaders 5.0 which was hosted by Maharaja Institute of Technology Mysore and uh, this was the fifth edition of that particular national level cyber security hackathon series which are being conducted by MIT Mysore every year. Guys, if you remember in my previous video about joining college clubs or about importance of joining clubs in your college, I had mentioned one thing. Uh, that you'll get access to people who are good at certain skills through which you can uh, form a team and uh, foster effective uh, skills distribution in terms of uh, exhibiting excellent teamwork and all. So if you have watched it then you will be able to relate to it and this again came handy for us when we got to know about this particular hackathon and we were able to form a team of four in which two of them were 
uh, or are currently pursuing their third year engineering in our college itself and two of us were from second year or uh, he was my classmate itself so we four of us formed a team and our team named the cyborgs reached there at 9 am on 22nd november and the inauguration function happened very smoothly wherein a lot of eminent personalities talked and gave us valuable insights about the importance of hackathons and uh, the fact that winning is not about everything and these things happen in every inaugural functions you guys may be knowing this if you have attended some events in your clubs too the entire hackathon was divided into two parts wherein on the first day on 22nd november there were uh, seminars scheduled on different topics which come under cyber security yeah seminars were planned on five different topics guys the first topic was uh basics of networking in which we got to understand what are networks actually and how networks work and important terms which come under networking and uh, after that we had a session on id spoofing this was a really a good session for us wherein we got to you know explore a lot of things under id spoofing and how people get uh i mean how victims get into certain traps by attackers so with that we understood what things we should do and we should not do as users in this arena of internet and next we had a seminar on food printing and here we understood what is food printing and what are the uses of food printing and through food printing how can you uh, reach the attacker or through the victim how can you reach the attacker and also this was again an interesting session which was provided by adrin who was a specialist in cyber security and he was really good in terms of delivering the content for us and making it reach to us through providing real life examples and even demonstrating the same in kali linux on his system guys it was really good and it was not just like the normal classes which happen in our colleges so since you had you were getting to know something new it was obviously really interesting for all of us and the fourth seminar was on system hacking in this we got an insight on how systems get hacked all together or how people can get access how people enter into your system even without you knowing about the fact that they are having the complete access of your system and this was an interesting session again where he demonstrated us a live example of himself uh, entering a virtual machine in his own computer so this was again really interesting guys and in the end we had a seminar on uh, sql injection so sql injection is again an interesting topic under cyber security and i want all of you to explore more on these topics i'm not taking much time cause i don't want you to bore you guys by talking about these stuffs in this video i just wanted to share my experience as a fresher into my first hackathon and the seminars got over by 12 as planned and as 20 as 23rd november kicked off at 12 am they announced the competition like what are the competitions and what are the rounds and we had three rounds in which we had in which we had two objectives in each round that is three rounds will be there and in each round we had two objectives to reach and based on our, our time of submission or our content or our whatever we submit in that stipulated amount of time we were awarded points and in each round one question had 10 points and the other question had 20 points and uh, according to my memory the first round was based on google docking wherein we had to uh, you know exploit some information out of google so google docking is again an interesting thing for freshers especially who have joined your first year right now i would strongly recommend to explore these areas under cyber security guys i was regretting a lot that i didn't get an opportunity to explore all these areas under cyber security when i was in my first year so i don't want any of you who are in my community to do that so uh this is the right time to explore or get a dive into this beautiful world of cyber security so please take this as a note and take this as a point to uh, you know explore things which are there under cyber security and the first round was as i told you earlier it was based on google docking and uh, our team lead aditya was you know really like a beast performing out there so he was very much excellent and very much you know appropriate in terms of uh, finding the solutions for the objectives which were there and uh, along with a certain ideas which were provided by all the team members we were able to clear first round smoothly and in that we got partial credit for one question and the other um, objective was completely achieved so we got full points for it and second round also was challenging and and fortunately we could clear the second round with the complete points of the second round guys and then Uh, moving on to the third round third round was again an interesting round wherein we were given an objective to 
uh, exploit the complete detail of a particular person without giving any detail about him so just the name was given and a small hint was given on him through which we sh we were insisted to bring out or exploit as much information as we can in the given stipulated amount of time and that was really interesting because there was very less time and all of us were like low yeah i have an idea so this is his work or this is his uh, research paper so this is his linkedin profile everybody were telling their inputs one by one and it was really good for me especially uh, entering my first hackathon i was really fascinated to see each and every team involving a lot in themselves and giving their best out there in order to give the maximum uh, content based on that particular person and we could uh, give our best submission in terms of that particular objective and then for the third round they hadn't given out the marks or the points for every team and they had told us that in around uh, half an hour or one hour the results will be out so meanwhile we went out and we had breakfast at 23rd november and the results were announced and uh, we were like expecting us to get at least placed in that top 3 uh, even if not top 1 because as i told you earlier in the first round we couldn't solve both the objectives completely so for that reason we were expecting us to get placed in the top 3 at least and based on other teams performance and the final result we got to know that we the cyborg emerged as the winners of that particular hackathon and it was a really happy moment and especially for me who attended my first hackathon and to win it and to emerge as the winners of that particular hackathon it was a surreal feeling and and it couldn't have been possible without the exciting team which i had and along with that our team lead aditya again he was wonderful in terms of his communication and in terms of taking inputs from all the team members he steered the team towards that winning uh, you know winning track and along with that other two team members vinod and paulatsya were equally uh, you know helping out each other and we all were in a conducive environment to express our own ideas and give our best or give whatever we have in store in order to take our team to that top position and with this we uh, you know kind of emerged as the winners of this hackathon and the winning check along with the certificates for the winners was awarded by uh, dr murli who is the chairman of mit mysore and along with presence of dr shivamurthy sir who is the hod of csc department in mit mysore guys i am sure a lot of you will be going through certain notifications of hackathons happening in and around your college and then you will be like i haven't done enough till now and i won't be able to win that hackathon so why just simply go to that hackathon and come back so this attitude should go out of your mind guys that is the main objective of this uh, video cause it's not just me telling that i entered a hackathon i went to my first hackathon and i managed to win it it's not all i want all of you to develop that temperament inside you uh to make yourself understand the fact that it's not just about winning it's about the participation and it's about the amazing amazing experience you will get when you enter into a hackathon that too your first one will be really memorable one guys so so please come out of that thing which is in your mind that you haven't done enough or you just don't know anything even if you just don't know anything or even if you won't be in a position to do anything in that hackathon you will be able to at least learn some things from other people by seeing how they are performing or you would be able to enhance your network and that according to me is your network so uh hackathon is not just about you going there you providing your best and you getting uh, placed in that uh, top 1 or top 3 positions it's not all guys even if we wouldn't have uh, got that first position or any uh, prize in that particular hackathon i would have zero regrets cause it was as i told you earlier the best experience for me with the wonderful team which i had main motive of this video will be served only if you guys start attending hackathons which are happening in and around your college so that you will get exposure to how hackathons happen and you will also be able to get valuable insights on how people work and how people are uh, engaging in this competitions which are happening based on your engineering career and engineering is again not just about scoring a good cgpa or scoring really good in your examinations but these things make you a good engineer 
rather than a good engineering student so i want all of you to be good engineers rather than good engineering students so i hope all of you will be uh, you know so helping me or contributing in serving the motive of this video guys so hit the like button if you were able to grab something informative out of this video and if you have any kind of doubts then please feel free to put it in the comment section so that i'll be able to go through it and uh, with that note uh, this is jashan as goda signing off and we are brothers together guys thank you guys thank you for watching we'll meet in the next video bye